I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It, don't, it, it doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. I greet all of you all with the same greetings, universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. You can be the richest to the poorest, the toughest to the weakest, the lightest to the darkest, but I greet all of you all with the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Uh, today is August the 8th, uh, 2019. It's Thursday. It's about 4.52 p.m. On August the 8th of 1974, some people that views my YouTube videos probably wasn't even born. Most of my enemies here in Charleston, Missouri, or declared enemies and attackers, some of them weren't even born. Maybe a couple of them might have been born, but uh, they they wasn't uh, they wasn't a year old. But anyway, on this day in history, Richard M. Nixon, which was the president of the United States of America. To the best of my recollection or knowledge or memory, he he this was his second term as president. I think he was the 36th out of 37th president at that particular time in 1974. But they had a thing that they called Watergate, where he was, I believe, tapping phones of the Democratic Party. And the House of Representatives, which is the lower house, uh they had impeached him. They, 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 they was going to have him impeach, and then it was going to the upper house, to the senators, to impeach him. And what he ended up doing was he ended up resigning before they impeached him. He read his resignation on national TV on August the 8th, uh, two, uh, 1974, and he hand over his presidency to Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford wasn't the vice president because when the president is assassinated or, or get impeached or resign, the vice president normally takes place, takes his place. But Spiro Agnew, uh, hey, hey now, Spiro Agnew, who was the vice president at that time, during the time that Nixon was resigning before he get impeached, he ended up, Agnew, his vice president, pled guilty to tax invasion, so he resigned. But let me tell you, once Nixon resigned and Gerald Ford took office as president to, to finish Nixon's term, uh, it was August the 9th, the very next day, 1974. But let me show you what Gerald Ford did about 30 days later on September the 8th, 1974. He gave Nixon a pardon. Clint this slate clean. Ain't that something? This man was finna be impeached for abusing his powers. But yet his vice president, his 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 uh, uh his uh, uh pick for president, they already had it arranged. He pardoned him. Thirty days later, thirty days later, he he was pardoned. But that go to show you how these parties deal. You see what I'm saying? It, all right now. They they show how the they show you how these people deal now. Now. I'm not saying that a president shouldn't do what he should uh, do anything, but one thing about it, if you if a president is really for the country and know another president did something that was abusing his power as president, the last thing he should have did was pardon. But let me show you. Let me just let me just go a little farther, y'all. Now, Donald Trump. You know, they, they trying to get him. They trying to impeach him. I think they have enough information to impeach him. But Governor Ron 
uh, uh, the Illinois Governor Ron Fagorich uh, uh, was sentenced on some federal charges. The latest that Trump, Donald Trump talking about now, even though Begorich is a Democrat and Donald Trump is a Republican, he's talking about giving him a pardon, knocking his slate clean, let him out of prison. If that's, that's their power, they can do it. A governor in Mississippi let 200 inmates go, black and white. Some had murders and all other type of cases. They tried to snatch all of them back, but the governor had the power to do that. That's, that's, this, this is what I want to show y'all. Now, show you how the president used their powers to let certain politicians go. But yet, I've been in prison with individuals. One is a Muslim and one is a high-ranking organization chief. I ain't going to even call him uh, a gang chief because I sat down with both of these individuals, got knowledge from both of them. Both of them was about unity. The Muslim uh, friend of mine been locked up since 1966 in Illinois prison, and they refused to even let him make parole his first time in. The other one that's not a Muslim was in the state. Now they're making him do life in the federal penitentiary. His first time in since 1973. You see what I'm saying? Was 23 years old when he got locked up. Both of these individuals, no matter what they're in there for, both of these individuals, I seen for myself, I know what reform is. And they was about unity, still about unity, even though these people won't let them out. But it's some ignorant blacks out here, the, the way they can on with all this violence, keep brothers like that in. But we ain't got no president, not even black, Obama ain't even considered to try to get these guys pardons. You see what I'm saying? Ain't none of the other ones trying to consider to get these guys pardons. You know why? Because these guys, if they came out, I assure you, if they can keep peace within the Illinois Department of Corrections and other penitentiaries, I know they can keep peace on the streets. Both of them remind me of a Malcolm X and somewhat of a Martin Luther King. You see what I'm saying? People listen to him. And all you hear in, inside of the prisons is them trying to keep peace, even though these people won't let them out. So when y'all get to talking about voting somebody in or running somebody against Trump, run somebody against Trump, no matter what their nationality is, is going to consider letting some of these brothers up out of these federal and state penitentiaries. Not all of them. See, you got some that's out here now that's snitching for the feds, starting commotion in the black community, starting black on black crime, committing crimes against other blacks, and the feds won't lock them up. But I guarantee you, these two brothers get out. Oh, the peace going to start being still. You know why I know? Because they haven't changed even though these people won't let them out. Again, it don't make no difference if you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, don't make no difference what your nationality is, don't make no difference uh, if, if you uh, you gay or what. Get some of these, look at some of these brothers that's in this penitentiary been locked up all these years and take an inventory. In California, Honor Schwarzenegger refused to get a brother in California a pardon to life sentence. That's all he was asking, for life sentence and commute his death sentence so he can try to help like he was doing, writing books, trying to keep unity. Honor Schwarzenegger, bodybuilder, hey, hey now, governor of California at the time, Refused to give him a pardon. He refused to even consider. You know why? Because he was a black man that with power, he had more power than the governor. These two individuals, with the power that they have, I would guarantee you, they would get 
our neighborhoods back safe. I'm going to leave like this here. Be careful who you vote in as president. Be careful who you vote in as governor. You see, presidents, you know, they, 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 they pardon politicians as pardon politicians. You see, they ain't worried about individuals that have a voice. You see, that's why they locked up Nelson Mandela. He had a voice, 27 years. These two brothers that they got locked up, they, they keeping them in there all this time. Here's other people that had triple homicides, been in there three and four times, and they out, but they don't want these brothers out because these brothers gonna bring peace in our neighborhood. They gonna bring peace amongst our people. These knucklehead brothers out here doing all this here, they gonna get them off the streets. You see what I'm saying? They going to get them out of our neighborhoods and let them move in their own neighborhood and kill up each other if that's what they want to do. They going to make our elderly people safe. They going to lie. They going to make it where I can come out here and video without some of these ignorant Negroes coming over here that I'm old enough to be their daddy and granddaddy disrespecting me. Males and females. Peace be still.